If you don't have silver for your jewelry this summer, what are you guys even doing? Hi guys, if you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and we are back with another jewelry video. If this is not your first time watching, you can see there's a little bit of a change in scenery. I'm just sitting in a different area of my house, but I thought I would do this because usually I do post about gold jewelry most of the time. So I was like, change in color, change in scenery, hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, as I was saying in my last video, if you guys missed it, go watch it. I already knew this was going to be an important topic for the summer, which is changing your jewelry color to either incorporate or even just fully embracing silver colored jewelry. And the reason why I'm saying silver colored is because it doesn't have to just be literally in sterling silver. You can also get white gold. Okay. So for those girlies like me who are still into low maintenance jewelry, AKA, if you prefer solid golds because you don't want to take it off when you go swimming or when you're in the pool, when you're in the beach, when you're showering, etc., you can still have that and achieve that with literally white gold. If you look at me right now and you're kind of like, whoa, you look tanned. Okay. Except for my face, because I feel like I kind of screwed up there. I didn't put enough self tanner on my face, but in a separate video, if you guys like this fake tan, I will show you guys how I achieved it. It is so even once again, besides the face, the reason I bring up my tan is because like I said, this is why it's so great for summer in the summer. We're all getting tans. Okay. Left and right. We're all getting tans and look at the contrast between silver and tan skin. This is the color of jewelry. That's going to make it stand out the most. And so sorry for the change in lighting. I don't know what is going on. Okay, I feel like Toronto weather is always way more moody than my own mood. That being said, it still doesn't dim how the silver stands out on your skin. Okay, like look at this on tan skin. I wanna talk about today some of the recent pieces that I got in silver slash white gold that I've been loving. And I'm gonna also introduce to you some of the other pieces that I've always loved. And I'm gonna kind of show you how to wear these. Starting off with the earrings. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are not traditional hoop earrings. There's a little bit of a curvature. Even when I'm standing up straight, you guys can see that it like actually curves in. So it's actually quite interesting. I love the little loopy and the curve. It just looks really unique. When you look at this, you're like, wow, this is incredible. The next item I want to talk about is the product that I've loved in yellow gold, 14 K yellow gold. If you guys look on the Majuri website, you guys can tell that a lot of the solid gold pieces also come in white gold. This one right here is the serpentine necklace in the white gold. I absolutely love this necklace in the yellow gold. I just couldn't resist getting it in the white gold as well. If you guys do not like the length of this one, I personally prefer the choker size. So this this one is in the smaller size. I believe it's 16 inches. But if you think that this looks a little bit too tight, then you guys obviously can get the longer one. I just have always had the shorter one and I love where it is because whenever I wear my pendant necklaces, it then lies right here and it has this amazing layering effect. So that's my personal preference. When I wear it with this necklace, which I also got this month, this is the Majuri X Ghani collaboration. If you guys are not familiar with the brand Ghani, they are one of the most hip kind of like mid tier designers. It's kind of not as expensive as, you know, like the Chanel's of the world, the Dior's, but they are a really, really great mid tier brand. I absolutely love their clothing. It is so cute. So Majuri had a collaboration. This is actually not new news. It is actually from a while ago, but this is my first time getting my hands on it and it looks so cute. I mentioned this in the last video as well about summer trends and we are going to be seeing in the jewelry category, mark my word, number one, the comeback of silver, number two, a statement, and number three, the whole idea of like chunky, fun charm pieces. You're going to be able to see a lot of pieces that are also kind of more like beaded jewelry, just like a lot of different charms all over the place. So I really think that this Ghani piece with Majuri is so, so, so on trend for that. And if you guys are more kind of just like timeless and easygoing pieces where you don't have to take off, then I definitely recommend white gold pieces such as the one that I just showed you, the serpentine. Or if you're like me, I'm both. I feel like I just have my days. You know what I mean? Then I like to actually own both. I might not on a typical day wear these two together because I feel like, like I said, the length is a little bit redundant, but depending on my mood, I just decide to wear my jewelry a little bit differently. Continuing on with the bold statement pieces, 
This bangle, oh my gosh, I literally just got off FaceTime with my best friend, Sarah. Literally like, where did you get this bangle? And I'm like, where else would I have gotten this bangle? Obviously from a jury. You guys can see that this is adjustable. This bangle is so cute. It is everything me, I guess, and Sarah have been looking for in a bangle. This is in sterling silver. It just looks so cute and it's actually, it doesn't fall off because like I said, you can adjust this quite easily. You can just kind of like bend it and just pull it out a little bit if you want to take it off. But I've already really wanted to have this style for summer. And when I saw it on their website, I was like, absolutely, I need this. Maybe on a different day, I wouldn't wear it with my more dainty pieces. But honestly, now that I am wearing it with my more dainty pieces, I actually don't mind the look. These three bracelets are also from Majuri, but you guys can see that I've definitely been just kind of playing around with my style. I want to have more more statement pieces now as well. Another few pieces I want to share with you guys in the statement jewelry category. Number one, we have this one right here. When I saw this ring on the website, I thought it was so, so, so cute. I love how big this is. If you look at it from this perspective, you can see how this ring is so much taller than the Ghani Majuri ring. My recommendation for this ring is A, choose the size for your index finger. I think it looks the best here anyway. I would also layer it with some dainty pieces as well. In fact, I'm actually going to show you right now. This is how I would wear it. Personally, I like to stack the looser ring closer to my knuckle and kind of close it off with a tighter ring. That way it ensures that my rings don't just like slide off if I'm like, hey guys, like, you know what I mean? Like you are so excited to see your friend and this has literally happened to me before. This is why I have this trick now. Anyway, that is a little quick stacking tip for you. The other tip that I want to say is if you are going to wear another ring, to wear kind of one that is thin like this Ghani one because that way you're not kind of like clashing both the rings against your fingers. If you guys need ideas or a tutorial on how to do mixed metals right, I actually have a video with Majuri teaching you guys how I actually style mixed metal pieces. You can see actually I'm demonstrating here is I got two of the figure rings. One is in sterling silver, one is in gold verme. And when I stack it like this, this is what I mean by it looks cohesive. It looks intentional and it looks like it's not just an accident where I forgot to take off a gold piece or I forgot to take off a silver piece. So I love, love, love the look of stacking these two together. The next item I want to share with you is another white gold piece. This piece is also another one that I own in solid gold, which is why I know it is so good. This is the thin dome in white gold. Once again, you do not have to take it off. And this is what it looks like. It looks so, so, so good and dainty. And once again, the fact that you don't have to take it off is key. Another reference to the intentional mixed metal styling. I have this pinky ring right here. My thumb ring is the white gold and the yellow gold. So this entire hand has been mixed super intentionally and I just feel like it's super stylish. The last earring that I wanna share with you, I had to go and change it because I just didn't have room. These actually are one earring and it has two different hoops. As you guys can see, one is longer than the other. Personally, I like to wear it this direction where the bigger hoop comes first and then the smaller hoop comes second. It is actually, I believe it matches this ring right here. It is the same style and it just looks, guys, just, just look at that for a second. Like it looks so good. I will leave all the links down below, but it is absolutely stunning. Lastly, I just want to call out some of the other pieces that I've had in my collection in case you have missed them because I feel like they're pretty underrated and I think they aren't to be missed. This item came out a few months ago. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the earring is in the square pattern and it also has really interesting texture. It's just, it looks like a bunch of links kind of like put together. And I just feel like this is also one of the most stylish pieces that I have seen. One of the things that I really loved playing around with besides mixing the metal colors with gold and silver. When it comes to statement earrings, I also really like playing with mixing and matching shapes. So for example, what I would do is I would pair like a huge chunky circular 
gold hoop earring and then pair it with a small silver square earring so it has that really interesting mix of color and also shape and I just think that when you pair it together it just looks so stylish I really really recommend you guys checking that out and that styling tip I just think it's going to be one of the ones that make your jewelry stand out a lot another piece I want to call out in case you guys are a huge fan of this bangle as well is they have a piece in the silver that looks like this for your earring and I absolutely think it's so stunning especially when you're wearing more of like a formal-esque dress I just think it really stands out especially if you are keeping a very elegant simple dress and then your hair is simple and your makeup is minimal this is your opportunity to make your jewelry stand out so in the summer we're really trending towards more casual fashion less just done up like you're seeing a lot of dress with sneakers, skirts with sneakers, and also mismatching color. I think this is your opportunity to keep everything else simple and make your jewelry stand out. Mix matching this summer is going to be huge and that comes with both fashion and jewelry. You don't have to just mismatch jewelry colors or shapes, but also mismatching the vibe of your current jewelry pieces. Obviously, you can keep it cohesive and do like a big statement piece with a formal dress. Like if you're a wedding guest, that's kind of like the classic thing that's going on. But this summer, if you want to be on the more trendy end, try doing a super casual outfit and then really done up jewelry. I feel like that's going to be also so popular this summer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and I'm so happy that Madri was able to just agree to let me do one on silver because we talked about it before and I was like I really want this to be a theme because I think that it's going to look so good with all of your trips if you guys are doing Europe summer or even staying in the city I just think that having silver into your collection is going to be a game changer but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye